So what do you get if you ask really nicely? Now keep this clean guys in your mind, but keep it watch related. You know what I did? I asked really nicely. I said to Mark from Long Island Watches, who's got a big channel and he's got a fantastic business all the way over the other side of the pond in America. And he sells some incredible watches. He sells his own range of watches. I was like, I'd, I'd like to get hold of one of these, take a look. You know what I did? I sent him a long email, you know me, I like to waffle, and I said, can I please have a look at one of your watches? I'm gonna do a comparison video, and I'm looking to see who does the best homage to a Seiko SKX007. He just said, sure. What's your address? I was like, wow. He sent it to me. So I'm borrowing this watch in this review from Long Island Watches. So Mark, if you watch this, thank you so much, mate. I really appreciate it. And I will send it back, I promise. If not, you know where I live now, or do you? Anyway, I look forward to reviewing this watch because I was drawn in by the beautiful pictures and I love the business he's got. I love the fact that someone has gone to the effort to make this watch and it's got an incredible spec. So check the rest of this video out because I'm gonna run through all that and I'm gonna do some nice photos and videos just to show you the watch out of a website or studio setting. So hopefully you get to see how good this watch really is. And it's definitely worth your attention. So stick around guys and I'll see you in a minute. So let's start with the specification. So up close under studio lights, we'll begin with the aesthetic values of the watch and then I'll move on to the weights, the size and dimensions. So first of all, this has got a flat sapphire with AR coating on it. It's a very subtle hue. Uh, if you just see when the light catches it, it's a slight bluey tinge, excuse the smudges. The bezel insert is fully loomed and is made with ceramic, which is excellent for anti-scratch properties, as is obviously sapphire. The C3 loom is also present in all the indices here and the hands. The Dial has got a slightly metallic effect, orange, as does the chapter ring, which is very pretty. We've got the Island uh, Long Island Watches logo there, which is a lovely crisp logo. It's one of my favorite logo designs I've seen in a long time, to be honest, because it's very clear and not fussy. That's why I like it. And it just says automatic 200 meters, straight to the point. I've shown in the picture in the introduction, there are other colorways available for this watch and sizes. This is the approximately 38 mil case size. So you can see it's relatively petite, but this is great. Uh, it's worth looking at this because we're looking at it as a design aspect. And as well as that, the fit and finish is important because that's what I was very interested in, because this is $300 and I paid about 20 pounds import duty tax into the UK for this watch. So just to give you an idea, we're gonna, I'm be gauging it on that price and the specification. So. The crown is also signed, which is lovely. It's more of an etched finish on there. Then the case back has got Long Island on it. That's where this watch is from. Very nice, it's very simple. And there's plenty of space on the back there if you wanted to get it engraved to make it uh, even more personal and special. So that's a nice touch, solid end links. And while we're on the bracelet, this is a fantastic bracelet. It is so, well made and comfortable, it really is. There's not much play between this, there's no wobble between the links. It doesn't rattle, it doesn't have that cheap effect, it feels solid. And I like the fact it's got the screw links. See, so you can't see the other side. If it was push pins, you'd, you'd see the holes on the other side. Because this is a screw, you need quite a small one mil screwdriver in there uh, to take the links out. I haven't taken any links out of this. This is another point I'm going to make uh, because it's quite a small size. Then we've got nice clasp and milled aspects on this. I've still got stickers on it. And the clasp feels very well made. It's all very, there's no play or slack or slop in it. And there's three micro adjusts there. This on me, I have a seven inch wrist for reference. I have only gone into the second hole there on the micro adjust and it fits me. I haven't had to take any links out. So if you've got a wrist any bigger than seven inches, this is very unlikely to fit you. 
But if you've got, this is designed primarily for those with more slender wrists. If you want to have one that fits a larger wrist, go for the bigger case size. So this is just to give you an indication. If, if you've got a slender wrist, how well is this gonna fit you? This on a seven inch wrist fits me with one tiny micro adjust. And you can take, so many links you can take out. You can take out a few on this side and then a few on this side. So it's gonna go down reasonably. This would be great for a lady as well, actually. A good for a slender male wrist or even a big wrist. If seven inches, you know, is, is an average wrist size, this is still look good on, on a chap as well. The, um, so I've covered the bracelet and the only thing I noticed ever so slightly was the transition and smoothness between the lugs and the solid end links. It's not perfectly flush. It's kind of sticking out. There you go. It's better to see there. That, I'm not sure what's going on there. I don't know if it's meant to be like that. But it's consistent throughout, as you can see here. It doesn't detract from the watch looking was so good. I mean, all the brushing is the same direction, which I like. Which is really smooth. And then the transition to the polished sides and the polished case back is fantastic. And then the bracelet's all brushed everywhere, which is great because that's the bit which can get all smudgy and everything. And yeah, I think that's really smart. Then also gone to the effort to have the drilled lugs. So it's easy to change this bracelet out if you want to put it on a different strap. Now, what's interesting about this is this isn't a just an off the shelf Seiko case. This is a unique item. This is a unique case. And I like that there's a lot of effort's gone into this watch. It's got that aesthetic of the SKX, which is such an icon, but it has the spec to take it to the next level. As I've discussed, it's got the ceramic, it's got excellent loom, including in the bezel. It's still got a diver's bezel. Ever so slightly stiff, I must say, and the grip is not fantastic, but this will loosen up, I'm sure. But it's, yeah, it's still workable, 120 click. So it's got all the features you'd expect from a decent Seiko, but for $300, it's fantastic. Another thing that's fantastic is it has the more up-to-date contemporary Seiko NH36 movement, which effectively is a day and date complication. It's reliable, it keeps good time, they're generally very, very robust, and they require no extra work or anything. You just give it a manual wind, that's the thing you can do, and get it going again if you haven't worn it for a few days, which is the benefit of these more modern movements. The screwing action of the crown's fantastic. It winds easily. The next action is really positive. It's really good. It's what you'd expect from a Seiko NH36, really, which is a uh, three hertz beat frequency movement, approximately 40 hour power reserve. It's, it's fantastic. It would suit anyone, really, unless you are really into ultra fine movements and getting into much higher power reserves. This is really good movement for this price point. So now I need to discuss with you the weights and the dimensions. So I've weighed this, I haven't taken any links out, bang on 150 grams, which is a sweet spot for a sports watch. So the case size is 0.1 of a millimeter off 38 mil. So yeah, that's great. And these are notorious for having excellent length so they're going to fit nearly any watch it's only a 44 lug to lug lug width is 20 mil then the bracelet obviously it's going to taper down from your 20 down to only 15.7 approximately so there's a nice taper on there and then on the clasp pops back up to 17. so it's quite an elegant bracelet design and it really works with this shape and design of the watch on oh, the thickness of the watch is 13.3 i think i've covered all the close-up things you're going to need to see on this watch to see the fit and finish excuse the smudges i have been wearing this you'll see in the next segment me wearing it out and about and having fun with it but it's a very well finished watch there's no sharp or rough edges the brushing is really smooth and consistent the tactile aspects are really good. Dare I say it, the bezel is a little bit stiff and not hugely grippy on here. As you see, it's quite smooth, but it is a very attractive watch. My wife immediately said she liked it. The color's great, but if you don't like orange, there's other colors to choose from. And like I said, there's another size. So it's great to have all that choice. 
So now you've had a closer look under the studio setting of how good the fit and finish of this watch is and just a real close up strong light situation where you can see any of the flaws which could be easily mislaid or misrepresented uh, under natural light. And speaking of natural light, this is the next segment of the video. I'm just going to show you the watch under some different settings, nice wrist shots, the watch out and about in action if you will. So in conclusion, my likes are the styling. I love the dial color. I love all the loom aspects. I love that it's so well specified. You've got ceramic, you've got sapphire. The fit and finish is so good. You've got solid end link bracelet with screw links, milled clasp. The fit and finish, I keep saying that, but it is fantastic. It really is. And it's all those extra spec aspects, which I like. It's not just the, the things like ceramic and the um, sapphire etc but you've got even got drilled lugs and this is 300 bucks i had to pay 20 pounds import tax from america but it came really quickly about 10 days that's a long way to go in 10 days when you think about it and it's so exciting when it arrives because it's in a lovely box let's grab it here it's in a lovely box so it's back to front but i'm using the uh, selfie camera on my phone and um so well, it's, it's a nicer box than you get on a three or 400 quid Seiko, which I've got here as well. See, same size, but you know, it's, it's the same. You get nice packaging, good job, but it's not so nice that it's detracting from the investment that should be put into a watch. So you've done a good job there. And the only niggles I would say is the crown on this smaller case size is a bit too small, a bit fiddly for my normal fingers. Uh, and the other thing that was a bit unusual is the alignment with the solid end links into the case. They look like they're bulbous almost, sticking out slightly up unusually. But not doesn't make it look unattractive, it's just slightly unusual. And then the bezel action is quite stiff and there's not enough grip on the bezel. You find your fingers slipping. So you can imagine if you're in the sea and you're just messing about with your bezel like you like to do, it's going to be a bit slippery. And that's the only, they're the only flaws, but everything else I love, the styling, the fit and finish, the loom, the materials, and the fact it's from an independent watchmaker, effectively. It's from a fantastic brand, and I love the logo. So I've tried not to be too gushing, because obviously I'm so grateful that I've been lent this watch, but in honesty, I've covered the few little issues, and that is me being brutally honest, guys, it really is. This is a hidden gem, if you don't know about it already. So thanks again to Mark from Long Island Watches. Check out their website. Here's the link. The link will also be in the description. I've not been paid in any way to say anything. I literally wrote an email saying, can I take a look at your watch? He said, sure, and sent it to me. It's as simple as that. And he obviously is a lovely guy because he's supporting the little guys as well. And that's me. I'm the little guy for now. But thank you so much. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next review.